In this demonstration, we will walk through the core components of the roll centers in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2009. This will give you an idea of the core parts of a roll center and how these can be used. It is a simple task to assign a roll center to a user. For this example, we are going to log on as a user that has administration privileges. As the IT administrator, Tim may help set up the system and keep it running. He can perform management tasks from the basic and administration area pages. For now, we'll just choose administration. From the role center setup, Tim can initialize the role center profiles. This populates the 30 out of the box role centers. You can see in this list some of the profiles available for different roles. For example, accountant, accounting manager, account manager, and so on. I can even select a role and then go up and see the users assigned to that role. In this example, I can see that April Stewart is assigned to this profile. From here, we can also perform a number of administrative tasks like importing and exporting the role centers. This is a handy feature to move from a test environment to a production environment. We can also do bulk activities like adding users. You can also see here that we have the option to view the role center. I can now see the layout of the accounts payable role center. This window will also allow me to configure which components are displayed. This is a great way to access all of the role centers and set them up without having to log on as each individual user. You will also notice that this opens up as an Internet Explorer website. The Role Center is a Microsoft SharePoint Services web part page. This provides the role centers with the flexibility to have different parts that you can mix and match to suit the needs of the role. This role center is also available as the home page in the Microsoft Dynamics AX 2009 client, as you will see in the rest of this demonstration. So if I close out of this role center and out of April's user profile, I can also access the user setup to adjust what profiles users have associated with them. You can see here that this setup is for April, who is an AP coordinator. One big advantage that has been incorporated in this release is the ability for users to have more than one profile in the same company. We can close out of this. One component that you'll see on many executive role centers is the KPI web parts or the business overview web part. These web parts display data from the OLAP cubes provided with Microsoft Dynamics AX 2009. In this case, Charlie, the CEO, wants to keep track of the financial metrics for the organization. The financial KPIs web part lets an executive see key performance indicators that are calculated in the OLAP cubes. A user like Charlie can manage which KPIs they see. With the Manage KPIs function, the user can see the indicators from different companies and from different currencies. They can also edit which indicators are displayed. From here, Charlie can change some of the settings for the displayed indicator. You can see that this indicator is from the General Ledger Cube. Now let's change roles and have a look at another web part. This time we're going to look at the Report web part. You can see on Inga's role centers that she has an invoice purchase amount report. This is a Microsoft SQL Server report displayed as a web part. Some reports even have drill down capabilities. Reports can be developed and added to the role centers at any time. Microsoft Dynamics AX 2009 ships with a large range of reports already developed. You can add these to the role centers or use the report development tools provided with Microsoft Dynamics AX 2009 and Microsoft SQL Server reporting services to develop new reports that can be displayed on the role centers. If Inga has the appropriate permissions, she can go ahead and edit the web part and change which report is displayed. In edit mode, she can add new web parts or change the settings. If Inga wants to change the settings for this web part to display a different report, she has a wide range of reports to select from. For example, as a purchasing manager, Inga might be interested in purchases in the past periods chart. And if we scroll down and click OK, Inga can now see the data that she was interested in. Another web part that is available on the role center is the work list. 
This work list displays notifications from alerts, notifications from workflows, and activities from CRM and projects. The work list is a chronological list of events that are relevant for the user. This saves the user having to drill into the business application to check the status of documents. The work list allows actions to be taken directly from the list. From the work list, you can drill into the details and decide if you need to act further. We can close out of this and head back. And again, if we have the proper permissions, we can modify this shared web part. A user can change the view of what they see in the work list as needed. For example, they can choose to have two work lists on their role center, one showing alerts and another showing activities. However, for now, we'll leave it with approvals and tasks and exit edit mode. The queues web part serves as indicators to the transactions that are currently in the system. For example, Inga has her role center configured to display a range of cube indicators, from open requests for quote, blanket purchase orders, and delayed purchase orders. Each queues web part can display up to six queues. A user can add multiple queue web parts to a role center, each displaying six queues. Again, Inga can select additional web parts to display and also change the way the indicators display information. We can choose to display an indicator for a specific queue. In this example, we'll select the planned purchase orders, which is queue number four. So we can open up the view and scroll down and choose planned purchase orders. Inga can now specify the threshold to limit the number of items indicated by the queue. Here we'll choose greater than or equal to, and you can see that the threshold is set to 10. It could be set at any limit that is preferred by the user. So if we scroll down and select OK, you can see the threshold indicator is now displayed. Now from the list, Inga can create her own queues. First, she will filter the data to display what she needs. In this example, Inga wants to filter the list to display records with a certain item number. And then we can click the Go button to apply the filter. And now Inga can save this filter as its own queue. So if we click on the Plan Purchase Orders Unsave Filter, we can save it as a queue. And Inga needs to give the queue a name that she'll remember, which we'll call Plan 1205. She can give it a caption, which we'll call Planned Orders for 1205. And she can also specify whether this queue is just for her or allow everyone else to see it. For now, we'll keep this as a personal queue and click OK. And if we go home, she can now add the queue to her role center by modifying the shared web part. And we can modify an existing queue to display the new information. In this example, we'll make changes to queue number five. And if we expand the view and scroll down, we can now see the queue that she just created, the planned orders for 1205. Again, we can scroll down and click OK. And you see the new queue that we just set up right there. Inga can also set up her own shortcuts to functions using the My Links web part. As an example, if Inga needs to access the list of vendors, which is something she is responsible for maintaining, she can simply go down and click the Vendors link. And if we go back, Inga can also add links if she needs to. By clicking the Add Links button, Inga can add links to sites that are accessible from either the Windows Client Desktop, the Enterprise Portal, or both. Inga can also add links to external sites via the URL option. From here, Inga can select any functional site to link to. For example, if she wants to create a link to purchase order details, she can easily do this by expanding the main menu, expanding the accounts payable, and selecting purchase order details. And if we click OK, Inga can now see the new link on her role center. Inga can use these links to build up a list of the conventions she works with. Microsoft Dynamics AX 2009 ships with pre-configured role centers. As users' needs change, they have the freedom to personalize these role centers to meet their needs. IT or business administrators also have the tools to build new role centers to personalize the business application for new roles. 
Because the enterprise portal is built on Microsoft Windows SharePoint technology, it is easy for someone like the IT administrator to help the business and provide new role centers when needed. To do this, we need to create a new web part page that contains the web parts of the new role center. From the create page, we can select the web part page. This allows us to assemble the collection of web parts that are needed to present the information for the new role center. Here, we can create a name for the role center page and select the template we want to use. So if we create the name of the new web page, we can leave the layout as the header footer three columns layout. And we can also choose where the web page is stored so that it is easy to find and organize the pages. In this case, we have the Enterprise Portal document library already created for us. When we're finished specifying the new web part page, we can click the Create button. And now we can add the web parts that we desire. The first web part that we're going to add is the unified work list. So if we add a web part, we need to find and locate the web part that we want to use. The benefits of being built on Microsoft Windows SharePoint technology is that there are a range of existing web parts designed to display rich content from multiple applications and sources. So if we scroll down the part that we want, we can choose the Dynamics Unified Work List web part there, and we can go down and add it. And you can see the new web part being displayed right there. Now we want to add a web part in the right column. And we're going to add another page to show indicators from Microsoft Dynamics AX 2009. In this example, we're going to add a Qs web part so we can show status indicators. So we can scroll over and select Qs and add them. And now that the web part has been added, you can see the cues right there. But we need to add cues to display. So we can modify the shared web part. And we can scroll down and see which cues we have available to us. In this case, Carl is the materials manager and is interested in the plan purchase orders. So we can select the plan pur purchase orders. This is just one of many cues that can be selected. Users can also create their own queues from a list page in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2009. Again, we will scroll down and click OK. And you now see the new queue displayed. A report is always a good tool to display information on the role center page. For this example, we're going to add the report in the footer section. Now we want to select a web part that will display a report from Microsoft Dynamics AX 2009 using the Microsoft SQL Server reporting services. So if we scroll down, we can see the Dynamics Report Server report. We can place a check in that and add it. And you can see right away that the report's been added to our footer. However, as you can tell, an error occurred while trying to display the report from the folder. We need to now go in and choose the properties that are needed to display the report. Again, we can go in and edit and modify the shared web part. And if we expand the report name, you can see an extensive list of reports already built up for us. For now, we'll select the purchase in the past periods chart which will give Carl a visual display of the number of previous purchases. Now we can specify the toolbar size, but in this example we want none. And we can scroll down. And now we can adjust the height to display the chart properly. Here you can see the fixed height, here you can see the fixed width. So we will choose that yes we want a fixed height. And for this example, we are going to make the height 10 centimeters and change pixels to centimeters. And if we click OK, we can now see a preview of the page displaying the report. For now, we're finished adding web parts to the Roll Center page so we can scroll up and exit edit mode. Remember that we can come back at any time to add more and modify the page. We can also adjust the spacing and the layout of the page at any time. 
We can now use the application object tree to associate the page we just created to the business application. This is done using a simple URL link. And we can add the new URL from the AOT. If we expand the URLs, we can see all of the current URLs available. However, we want to add a new URL. Adjusting the properties will allow us to associate the link and set this URL as a home page. So if we edit the properties of URL 1, we can add a label to make this a more friendly URL. We can also change the name so it's not a technical name. And then we can go over and save it for now. We now have to go in and designate the URL for this link. And then we can designate it as a role center by the home page properties by selecting yes. So again, we can go over and save it, exit out of the URL and out of the AOT. And we can now configure the user profile from the administration area. So if we choose the user profiles, we can add a new user profile. And we'll call this profile the materials manager. We'll change the description as a materials manager. And then we can change the role center and scroll down and find the role center that we previously created, which is the EP Materials Manager Role Center. And if we switch up to the Users tab, we can add Carl so that Carl sees the new role center as his default role center. So if we scroll down User ID and find Carl and click OK, the Materials Manager Role Center will now be his default role center. You can see from this demonstration that Microsoft Dynamics AX 2009 can easily be customized to create new role centers. This enables role centers to be tailored easily for your business. In a few minutes, you can easily put together a new page to show the relevant data for each specific role. Pulling information together from existing web parts to show data from Microsoft Dynamics AX or other applications is easy for the IT staff or business administrator. This enables your users to get the most out of the business application, saving you time and consulting resources that would typically be needed for other ERP applications you might be evaluating. Thank you.